the screen on the green in Islington and we're going to be watching the live acrobatic directed by Wes Anderson and then he's going to be doing a Q&A we're going to get to ask him some questions. This event is supported by the Script Factory and National Film and Television School. They also support YCTV which is why we are here and it's going to be brilliant. So why do you want to see this film, The Life Aquatic? Uh, well, I've seen all his other films. Yeah. They're really good. So. Which one was your favourite film? Uh, I quite like the Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah. Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah, as well, Rocket Spin as well. Has the film turned out how you wanted it to turn out? Yeah, I think you know there's a certain degree to which I feel like I pay. I, you know, I'm very focused on a lot of details, um, and I have an idea of how I want the film to be. But in the end, I'm always surprised by what the movie is. It is beautiful, Steve. Yeah, it's pretty good. Isn't it? As you pay so much attention to detail, I was wondering how do you know when to stop? How do you know when to say that that is it? This is what I want. That's what I want this character to be like, or that's what right. I want that shot or that set or yeah, whatever well, to look like. All the all the different uh, ele elements of the movie go through. The, you know, there's a writing process which is a long one, and we put a lot of detail and specify a lot of things in that. And then I plan out the way we're going to shoot the movie. Do you spend as much um, time thinking about how you're going to decorate your house as you do? Stylizing your movies? Well, you know, my house I, is, I, I don't actually have a house right now. Mm. I bought, I mean, I do. I bought this place that I've been renovating for three years, I've been renovating it, but it's just a big white place. There's nothing there. It's you a know. blank canvas right it's now. It's a blank canvas, and um, it's still taking forever. You know, this, the, the kitchen hasn't been put in or anything, but it's all just a, you know, it's just a big giant white place. So you're a roadie at the moment, huh? Yeah, I've been a roadie <laughs> for um, my whole life. He cast you as um, as the mother figure in the Tenenbaums as well. And I was wondering, you know, if you might be his ideal surrogate mother type. Any day, I'd Any be day. thrilled to be a surrogate mother. Um, when I was playing, or first time I met him, and I knew I was going to play Ethelene Tenenbaum, um, he had very detailed sketches of how he wanted her to look. It was so specific and. I, I learned in the process of sort of creating Ethelene Tenenbaum that his mother was in fact an archaeologist and had worn a locket around mm -hmm. her neck and so forth. But when I, I, I came to ask Wes whether I was playing his mother, he looked at me yeah. sort of blankly and said, well, I never, I never thought of <laughs> yeah. that. Fantastic. Let's go. We're here at the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. We're here to celebrate Youth Culture Television's 10th anniversary. We have in there distinguished guests and past and current YCTV staff who are going to battle in a quiz night tonight. I have one question I want to ask you. If you could be any cartoon character, who would you be? Betty Boo. Betty Boo? Yeah. Why Betty Boo? Because she's sexy. She's always in black and white and she always looks good. She has that beauty spot right there. Yeah. So, yeah, Wicked. Baby. Did you used to watch her when you were younger? No, but I no? bought the t-shirts. Oh, wow. She's okay. before my time, but I bought the t-shirts. Do you want to say who you are? Uh, I'm Ian Patterson okay. and uh, I'm from Atlas Origin and we're sponsoring this event. Fabulous. You did, you did the um, Olympics technology. We do, the, yes. We're the IOC partner for the Olympics. Brilliant. So we will be doing Paris or Rome. Sorry, Paris or London even. Paris or London. <laughs> I hope it's London. We'll wait and see. I hope so. Yeah. The question is, if you could be any cartoon character, who would you want to be? Oh, wow. Cartoon characters. Uh, uh, Roadrunner. 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 Okay. Does that win a prize? No, not oh, really. Look at you. We might be able to like squeeze in a raffle. Squeeze a raffle. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hello, I'm Matunga. And I'm Az, and we're in Brixton at the Ritzy Cinema. We're here for the Human Rights Watch Film Festival. And we're going to watch two films. One's called Life on the Tracks. And the other one's called Poison, which I personally selected. And then we're going to be asking the directors some questions. Which we have prepared. So, we'll see you later. I have with me Andrea Hulley, the organiser of today's event. Could you tell me a little bit about your role in bringing it to London today. The Human Rights Watch Film Festival actually started in New York yeah. 15 years ago. Have you found that you may discriminate against some films because they're not as, you know, talking about today's events, you know, mm. today's issues as much? That actually, funny enough, I don't think we at the festival discriminate about that at all. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got our tickets and we're just about to go into some films. Very excited, I'm excited. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And I have with me 
the director did see, and also the cinematographer Lena with me. And we'd just like to ask you a few questions about your film. What has the um, political response been to your film? It's been written about and reviewed in the major dailies. Yeah, in the entertainment pages, yeah. but also in the opinion editorial pages. Did you stay there overnight at all? You, yeah, we stayed there for a month. month towards oh, the you end did stay of there. Film. Okay, but one there's month. no room for us in there. Okay. Yeah, we've rented uh, another two, another little yeah, shack. Um, two houses is, away from okay. two houses. Uh, okay, second, maybe one house away. Yeah, and you ate some eggs that Eddie was. Of course, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> So that's that, you've seen the film, interview the directors, how did your interview go mate? My interview went quite well, yeah, it's a good gentleman and I've got my answers. Yeah, I think this was really nice, the Nana was nice, but she had to for a second to give us the interview, but and then she nearly forgot the truth, which was yeah. really ridiculous, but anyway. Anyway, we we'll enjoy the film, hope you will too, so see yep. you. Don't miss it, you Human Rights away. Watch, International you Film Festival, away. hold on, I haven't finished yet. International Film Festival and it's here at um, Brixton, Ritzy and also at the other cinema which is in West End. Have a look on their website and um, yeah, make sure you catch it. If not this year, then next year. Good night then. Okay, good night. Bye bye. They will all see what a brilliant mastermind I am when I'm through. They doubted me. Saying my henchmen were too fat and my evil missions weren't evil enough. <laughs> but I've graded my secret base into a fully functional evil island fortress. <laughs> and I have sent my henchmen to mine in training. No one will be able to stop me as my henchmen have now destroyed three of the Top most super agents in the world. <laughs> Plus, with the addition of my new secret ultimate doomsday device, I will be unstoppable in my quest to conquer the world. In the PC game Evil Genius, take over the world one dastardly plan at a time. Really, who wants to be the good guy? <laughs> they can't stop me now! <laughs>